Hi, my name is Dag Crosslid and I am the CEO of Nordan Sweden. Nordan AB in Sweden are very honored to receive the Quality Sustainability Award for 3D printed windows in modern biomaterial. You have already seen an introduction to our innovation. Together with my colleagues, Helena Schölin, Purchasing Manager, Andreas Redin, Project Manager, and Cecilia hedbla Schölin, Factory Manager, we will now explain some highlights of Nordan's venture into innovation with 3D printing using modern biomaterial and how we applied quality management techniques to act as a foundation for this important development. From an environmental sustainability point of view, Nordan's 3D printing project provides important solution to our customers' demands for future sustainability within the building industry. Moreover, from an organizational perspective, the project allowed us to learn and apply new technologies and modern materials in order to offer new solutions using resources more efficiently whilst reducing waste. To understand the context of our efforts into 3D printing of windows, I should explain that Nordan for the past few years have had quality management and sustainability highlighted as two of our main strategies. Also, we have grouped our many activities within sustainability and digitalization into a common initiative with the name Eco Digital Ready. The 3D printing project was an extremely important project to exemplify and place important into these strategies and efforts. It showed key stakeholders such as employees, customers, suppliers and industry networks how serious and pragmatically Northern Sweden work on quality management, sustainability and digitalization. We have also worked systematically on the UN Sustainability Development Goals, both at the company level, which can be seen from our digital showroom that we launched early 2020, as well as on a project level. In the digital showroom, the 3D printed round window is seen in the middle as product news and the UN Sustainability Development Goals are seen in the background. In the digital showroom, these are interactive elements where visitors can gain more knowledge and insight into each component. We will later on in this presentation get back to which of the UN Sustainability Development Goals the 3D printer project addresses the most. From the very beginning, the 3D printing project was extremely goal-driven, which is also a key feature of Agile projects. At Nordan we set ourselves the goal to be the first company in the world to start commercial sales of 3D printed windows in a material as close as possible to timber. Instead of applying a traditional project management methodology, using Gantt chart, waterfall, timelines and toll gates. The project team decided to focus on solution packages that the project was required to deliver on in order to achieve the project objectives and address these in the most dynamic and agile way. Because the solutions were not available at the beginning of the project, the venture held a high level of complexity and the developments in 3D printers and 3D printing materials were rapidly changing and evolving during the time span of the project. The project had a total of six main solution packages. The first package was the machine solution, finding, purchasing and installing a large enough 3D printer to print full-size windows. The second package, material solution, was about finding a sustainable and cost-effective 3D printer raw material with good printing and product properties. The third package solution was product solution, 
selecting the most advantageous product for 3D printing and demonstrate the advantages of additive manufacturing methods versus conventional manufacturing methods. The fourth solution package was all about robust processes. Establishing a repeatable 3D printing process with stable output. The fifth solution package, product verification, was to test final product to confirm satisfactory performance for commercial sales. And finally, the sixth package was the product launch solution, developing market material, product documentation and opening up for the new product in the company's sales systems. To work on and deliver the solution packages, Nordan set up a strong cross-functional project team using an agile approach combined with PDCA cycle from quality management at the core. Hence, the PDCA cycle became the key framework for the continuous iteration of development and testing throughout the 3D printer project. It was a true journey of discovery, early testing and rapid learning, as well as a fact-based and systematic work through quality management tools and methods. Also, all of the project team members were highly motivated with high levels of interaction and frequent coordination meetings. The agile development values were all evident during the 3D printer project which were individuals and interactions, working solutions, collaboration and responding to change. Also the Agile development principles were actively applied. To better understand the quality management and sustainability elements of the project, let us share the example of the material solution package. When starting the project, there was no readily available material qualified and tested for large-scale 3D printing, except for polymer materials such as polypropylene and ABS. Nordan was looking for a more sustainable material aligning with the company's timber product range. Materials under the heading Biocomposite initially looked to satisfy many of the project's requirements. Also, the project team knew that for a commercial production of windows, any filament-based 3D printing raw material would not be sustainable from a cost perspective. So, instead, it required a granulate-based 3D printing raw material. Different types of granulate-based biocomposite materials were tested from different suppliers with various types of biofibers, different amount of biofibers versus resin and numerous resin types, as can be seen in the fishbone diagram. Each test was performed as a PDCA cycle. Some of the tests did not work at all, as the raw material was not suitable or configured adequate enough for 3D printing. Other materials gave good early test results. An important breakthrough for the material solution was the identification of a strong correlation between the hygroscopic properties of a biocomposite material and the printing quality. Biocomposite material generally had a high absorption of moisture from surrounding air, giving inadequate material flow in the extruder and producing poor printing result. It was decided to work closely with Stuart Enso and its International Competence Center for Biocomposites. To solve this and to gather a more advanced bio modified biocomposite granulate was developed and delivered to Nordan. The improved hygroscopic performance is clearly visible in the graph. Also, Stora Enzo was able to deliver test material with high wood content. An example worth mentioning from the product solution package was the Pareto analysis into how to reach the project goal in the most efficient way with regards to time and goal fulfillment. It involved detailed analysis of 3D printer capabilities regarding different product types and also the realization that the main advantages of 3D printing versus conventional production of windows are found in the shaped products, for example circular windows, as these are very time consuming and complicated to produce with long lead times. We found that 3D printing for large-scale products is most advantageous for rounded corners and curves, as opposed to sharp or right angles. The Pareto chart helped us focus the project and to reach the goal much quicker 
than if 3D printing had to be solved for all type of windows. This type of project scoping is also in many ways a feature of agile methods. Of course, when focusing the project so much, some trade-offs had to be made in terms of reaping the full benefits. But the learning and the potential gained is still immense for other types of products and solutions. The PDCA cycle included the product range analysis, selection and testing of the circular window, and in the ACT phase, a Venn diagram was also created on how to address the potential that was now defined as out of scope. And some of that potential we have of course addressed in new projects after the 3D printing project was completed. In the final five to six months of the project, the main focus was all about establishing a robust production process, followed by product testing and product launch. Despite the product testing and product launch being carried out with only one PDCA cycle each, the robust printing process required many iterations of PDCA work. From the studying of the daily humidity readings in the previous year from the assembly hall, where the 3D printer was located, the product team knew that the surrounding environment had high fluctuations and the humidity was not predictable from one week to the other. The only certainty was that the humidity levels were much higher in the summer and autumn period compared to the winter and spring period. In a PDCA cycle solution on how to shield the 3D printer with the printing chamber were developed and tested with good results, thus achieving more stable printing environment. It was a lot of parameters to look at, try to control or even attempt to master as much as possible. Some parameters work individual but many affected each other and then the PVCA approach worked perfectly. When things have never been done before, you need to find your way yourself. The 3D printer project also documented the key advantage of using additive manufacturing and biocomposite material. A flowchart was used to visualize process steps and lead times. In addition to the much shorter lead time, additive manufacturing also removes the two main HSE challenges of the conventional process, namely the gluing process and the vacuum impregnation process. It is great to have a large-scale 3D printer in our factory. We have placed it prominently in our assembly area and is visible proof of how seriously we take digitalization and sustainability and that we are also a modern and technology-driven company. We are really proud of this investment and the 3D printed windows. Both the 3D printer technology and the biocomposite material technology that Nordan developed with suppliers in this project holds a lot of potential and relevance to the future of the building industry and has opened up new doors of opportunity for us. It enables us to further explore sustainable solutions and as the project showed, it would never have been possible without the agile PDCA approach and application of quality management tools to identify mine causes and to control process variation in a systematic way. The following three UN sustainability development goals has been the focus of the 3D printer project. Goal 9, which is about industry, innovation and infrastructure. Nordan's 3D printer project is about a more futuristic view on the further industrialization opportunities within the building industry and how that can be done in a sustainable way, as well as good example on driving innovations. Goal 12, which is about responsible consumption and production. Nordan 3D printer projects holds both potential in the usage of a machine with comparably low energy consumption and low emissions, as well as biocomposite material with all its potential for use of recycled polymers, as well as different types of biomaterial. Goal 17, which is about partnerships to achieve the goal. 
This project would not have been possible for Norden to make alone. We truly depended on the cooperation of the 3D printer manufacturer BLB Industries in Sweden and the material supplier Stora Enso Biocomposite, as well as RISE for product testing. Thank you for your attention and for awarding Norden Sweden with the Quality Sustainability Award 2020.